It sounds like science fiction, but Han says the CL1 is capable of learning and adapting faster than standard silicon-based AI, while consuming significantly less energy. We take blood or skin and we can transform them into stem cells and from stem cells into brain cells or neurons that we then uh, use them for compute and uh, intelligence. The world has just seen the launch of the first ever biological computer, a groundbreaking invention that combines human brain cells with silicon hardware to create a completely new kind of AI. This incredible technology, called the CL1, was developed by the Australian company Cortical Labs and is set to change the future of artificial intelligence. Unlike regular AI systems, the CL1 is more flexible, learns faster, uses less energy, and is far more efficient than anything available today. This new technology, known as Synthetic Biological Intelligence, was officially introduced in Barcelona on March 2, 2025. Scientists believe it will be a huge breakthrough in medical research and other fields. The secret behind its power lies in its ability to evolve and learn continuously, just like a real brain. Unlike traditional AI chips, which take a lot of time and computing power to train, the CL1 can learn quickly and outperform the AI technology used in systems like ChatGPT. And the best part is that in the coming months, people will finally get to see its true potential when they start using it themselves. Dr. Han Wang Chong, the founder and CEO of Cortical Labs, proudly announced that the day it was launched marked the biggest milestone in the company's six-year journey. He explained that they have made major breakthroughs over the years, especially with their famous research published in the journal Neuron. In this study, human brain cells were placed in a simulated game world and trained using electrical signals to play the classic arcade game Pong. However, he said that their real goal has always been to make this technology available to everyone, without requiring complex hardware or software. And now with the CL1, that dream has finally become a reality. What is CL1 Biocomputer all about? The CL1 Biocomputer is housed inside a large system that provides all the life support needed to keep the human brain cells inside it alive and functioning. Dr. Chong emphasized that while this is a huge leap forward, the true power of synthetic biological intelligence will only be revealed once people start using it. To make this even more exciting, Cortical Labs is introducing wetware as a service. This means customers can either buy the CL1 biocomputer or rent access to its brain-powered chips remotely through the cloud. Dr. Chong believes that this platform will open doors for millions of researchers, inventors, and big thinkers to turn the CL1's potential into real-world innovations. Cortical Labs will provide the tools and support, allowing users to drive new discoveries and push scientific research to new heights. These amazing brain cell biocomputers have the power to change the world. Interestingly, they could transform substance discovery, clinical testing, and even how robotic intelligence is designed, making it fully customizable to fit different needs. The CL1 is set to be widely available in the second half of 2025, marking a huge success for Cortical Labs. And as some researchers recently discovered during a visit to the company's Melbourne headquarters, this technology goes far beyond just playing Pong because its possibilities are endless. How did the world know about this product? Cortical Labs first gained worldwide attention in 2022 when they created a self-learning computer brain by placing 800,000 human and mouse neurons onto a chip. They then trained this living network to play a video game, showing just how powerful it could be. Science writer Laz Blaine has covered their journey in developing a self-adjusting neural network that can learn, adapt, and build new pathways in response to stimuli. In 2023, Chief Scientific Officer Brett Kagan shared a fascinating perspective with Blaine. He explained that they see this technology as something entirely new, not quite an animal or a human, but a different form of life. He described it as a mechanical and engineering approach to intelligence, built using biological neurons, but structured in a completely new way. Cortical Labs has come a long way since its early experiments with the now outdated dish brain, both in technology and in name. Now, with the CL1 officially available, researchers can finally get their hands on this groundbreaking technology and explore its real-world applications in ways never before possible. When some researchers visited Brett Kagan and his team at Cortical Labs Melbourne headquarters late last year, they saw firsthand just how far this biotechnology has advanced. The CL1 is built with simpler, more stable hardware, better ways to optimize the wetware, 
human brain cells and exciting progress toward growing a neural network that could one day function like a real brain. In fact, as Kagan put it, they are working toward what they call the minimal viable brain, a small but fully functional thinking system. Back in 2022, the team showed the world how they could integrate rodent and human stem cells into high-density, multi-electrode arrays using advanced CCMOS technology to stimulate the neurons and create efficient information exchange networks. But the real challenge was teaching these brain cells to learn and improve. To do this, they had to find a way to reward the neurons when they performed well and punish them when they failed. In their dish brain experiments, they made an amazing discovery. Neurons crave predictability. When they find connections that create stable, energy-efficient outcomes, they strengthen those pathways. But when their actions lead to random, chaotic signals, they learn to avoid them. As Kagan explained, that was only the beginning. And with the CL1, they are now taking things to a whole new level. The new system is a major improvement over the old one, which relied on a CMOS chip. While the previous chip provided detailed neuron readings, it had significant drawbacks. It was opaque, making it impossible to see the cells, and it couldn't properly control electrical charge, leading to harmful buildup over time. The new system is simpler, but much more stable. It allows precise control of electrical currents, keeping the neurons balanced, healthy, and functioning properly for a longer time. Inside the CL1 system, scientists place lab-grown neurons on a planar electrode array, or as Kagan described it as just metal and glass. This setup includes 59 electrodes that help form a strong, stable network, giving researchers precise control over how the neural system is activated. The SBI brain is then placed inside a rectangular life support unit, which is connected to a software system that allows it to be controlled in real time. Kagan compared the system to a body in a box, explaining that it includes filtration, liquid storage, circulation pumps, gas mixing, and temperature control to create the perfect environment. At their Melbourne lab, the Cortical Labs team is now building the world's first biological neural network server stack. This setup will contain 30 separate units, each housing its own neuron-covered electrode array. And in just a few months, this groundbreaking system is expected to go fully online. CL1's possible future and creation methods. The Cortical Labs team has big plans for the future. They hope to have four fully operational stacks up and running before the end of the year. These will be available to researchers and companies through a cloud-based system, making cutting-edge biological computing more accessible than ever. Each CL1 unit will initially cost around $35,000, which is a huge price drop compared to similar technology, which can cost up to $85,000. And while the CL1 system is already more affordable, the team is working hard to lower the cost even further in the future. One of the most impressive things about CL1 is how little energy it uses. A full rack of these units runs on just 850 to 1000 watts, making it far more energy efficient than traditional AI systems. Plus, it is fully programmable and allows two-way communication between the neurons in the system, helping the network learn and adapt in real time. And the best part is that it doesn't even need an external computer to function. At launch, these SBI neural networks already have huge potential, especially for substance discovery and disease research. When viewed under a microscope, the neurons can be seen growing and forming connections, creating a living, evolving network. Kagan emphasized that the technology is designed to be accessible, allowing users to operate it remotely through a cloud system even if they can't afford to buy a unit. While giving a tour of the PC2 laboratory, a mix of advanced computer systems, and biological research equipment, Kagan showed induced pluripotent stem cells under a microscope. These lab-grown cells taken from human blood samples are blank slates that can be turned into different types of cells. Kagan explained that they use two methods to transform cells. One involves exposing them to molecules that mimic brain development in a fetus, while the other directly modifies specific genes to help them grow into neurons. This groundbreaking research is just the beginning and the future of biological computing is looking more exciting than ever. The Cortical Labs team is using two methods to create brain-like neural networks, each with its own challenges. The first method is fast and produces pure cells, but it does not accurately mimic a real human brain, which consists of many different cell types. The second method, known as the small molecule approach, 
creates a diverse mix of brain cells, making it more realistic. However, it is difficult to determine exactly what types of cells are present. Understanding this diversity is crucial for their goal of building a minimal viable brain. While they can identify the main cell types, the presence of many subtypes makes it harder to fully control cell development. Despite the successful launch of the CL1, the team is already working on advancing synthetic biological intelligence by solving the challenge of defining and constructing a truly functional artificial brain. The CL1 system is expected to greatly improve research on diseases and new treatments. Many substances for brain disorders fail in clinical trials because the brain is highly complex. However, this technology allows researchers to study those complexities more closely. The goal is to reduce the need for animal testing by using these advanced tools instead, which would be both scientifically useful and ethically beneficial. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comments section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.